Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see Hello Me Boxes Problem of Corsa. So there is a person Theo Fanis, and he is busy after his last contest as of now, and he has to deliver many hello hello names of all over the world. He stored them inside n boxes, and each of which has some number AI written on it. Okay. He wants to sort them in non-decreasing order based on their number. However, his machine works in a strange way. It can only reverse any survey of boxes with length at most k. Okay. Find if it's possible to sort the boxes using any number of reverses. So we can do as many reverses we want. And reversing survey means like we are taking some part like this and reverse it. So we are given n and k, and then the next line we have a1 to an integers. <coughs> so we need to see <coughs> how can we solve this problem. So in the first example we have one, two, three. That means it is already sorted. So we don't need to do anything, right? So let's see another case. Three one. It is already sorted. We don't need to do anything. This is a good case. So 4, 4. So we have 6, 4, 2, 1. We need to reverse this. How can we do that? This is a in reverse order. And we have k equal to 4. That means we can consider a subarray of length 4. And this is the subarray which has length 4. That means we can directly reverse. That means 1. 4, 4, 1, 2, 4, and 6. So this is a sorted. So we can sort it, right? So let's see one more case. I will discuss some difficult case definitely. Just wait. So we have 10, 3, 8, 30, and 14. Okay. Here k is 3. That means we can reverse three elements, right? Maximum, or we can do minimum also, one or two elements. That is our choice. So what we can do here? <coughs> we need to make it sorted. So what we can do? We can take some array of length two and reverse this. So it will become three and ten, right? And if we again take this, then it will become forty. And 830. So array becomes sorted now. So it's possible. So let's see one more case. Last example where our answer is no 3 and 1. And it is 1. So, like we can take only uh, length, the value of length 1. That means either we can take this or this. That means this is the case where it is possible we can't reverse. Like if we reverse this one, so it will become the same. The positions are not changing. So we can't reverse it. Hope you understand this. So let's see one more example. With the distinct things. Okay, so let's say 1, 2, 3, 4. This is a simple. Let me make it complex. 4. 3, 2, 1. Okay. So it is in reverse order and initially you have k equal to 4. Right. k equal to 4, we can directly reverse and we'll get an answer. Let's suppose we have k equal to 3. Then what you can do? You can first reverse this. Uh, this that will become. 2, 3, or 4, 2, 3, 4, then it's 1, right? And what we can do again? We can replace here. So, 2, 3, 1, 4, right? So, we can do one more thing. We can replace this thing. So, it will become 2, 1, 3, 4. And if we do again, that means we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 
that means after certain number of operations it is possible to reverse at k equal to 3 or we can do k equal to 2 that is also possible let's suppose we have k equal to 1 okay so k equal to 1 that means we can choose only one element and we, we can't reverse one element it is the same element so it's not possible when k is equal to 1 so what you can do you can just directly make a loop and at some place if you find that b i b i is greater than b of i plus 1 at some place in array and another condition k is equal to 1 if this condition hold for any i i equal to 0 to n minus 1 this is less than less than n minus 1 if this condition holds like k is equal to 1 and bi greater than bi plus 1 then your answer will be no otherwise your answer will be yes in all the cases rest all the cases and in this case answer will be no so this is a very simple problem hope you understand like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding